So is my poo trash? So um, this is something we should all be aware of, the amount of waste we produce and the amount of trash we produce. And luckily in America here, we have a very good waste management system. And basically all the sewage, all, all the flushing sinks and, and toilets and flushing toilets and sinks and showers and everything all gets processed. And basically, I mean, it's a lot of energy, a lot of petroleum, like a lot of fossil fuels are burned to do this, but it ends up being our drinking water again. We filter everything out and chlorinate it and clean it so that only little billions, billions of percents of our, of our feces and everything else it ends up in our water and it's safe to drink. So that's really great, but you can bypass the whole thing if you use your poop to fertilize your garden. That's gonna be different for everyone depending on your climate, but there, I'll show you a simple setup, check this out. So basically it's a cozy bucket. You poop in a bucket and you add, let's see how it looks in there. Basically just looks like sawdust on top. Um, you go in there and you can build a, you know, a little bathroom shape out of it. There's, I've seen, you know, more extravagant ones, but it's basically a bucket. And then you add sawdust or whatever dry material you have in your area. It's going to vary depending on your area, but basically you're adding some kind of dry material like, you know, mulch or every area is going to be different and you're composting the, the poop so that you can then in a year's time, sometimes even six months time, use it in your garden and grow veggies out of it. So, um, you have to look up for your area, what to do with it, but I do it in my yard in Miami. Um, and not as much as I'd like to, but, uh, I do also do it in Hawaii and it's very wet there. So, and it's very hot. So everything decomposes fast and I just pretty much low maintenance, but every climate is going to be different. And the amount of water you have and the amount of heat you have is going to change that also the soil. And if you can mix soil with it, or if you can mix, um, dry matter with it, that's going to help a lot. So look up the thing for your area and start hitting the bushes. Go go poo outside and grow some veggies in it or grow some fruit. You can easily fertilize fruit trees with it. You just put it on the base of the tree once it's decomposed. Um, but yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this. It's a nice eco tip and um, it's really great because you're you're utilizing the nutrients that you're that you're pooping out that are just going to waste and you're cutting back on the vast amount of energy that goes into cleaning that and then making it into drinking water again and you don't have to pollute the environment you don't have to release that methane if you that methane is being released into the atmosphere when they that basically they vat the poop you know and they kind of add chemicals and, and release all the methane and then it goes through filtering and then it goes, I'll post the video down below of uh, SciShow, which is an awesome show if you haven't checked it out. Basically you bypass all of that, you have clean water and you, you, <laughs> you trap the carbon in the soil so it's not going into the atmosphere and you get to grow veggies for free, you don't have to buy, you know, compost. So it's win-win all around. Everyone should poop in their backyard if you can. If you're not, you know, in New York City, poop in your backyard, please. <laughs>